Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, it's almost like four o'clock in the morning, you know. Although I should be like sleeping and all, you know. But I've been like thinking about all the sort of stuff that's going on this year and all. Now that like years got slowly coming to a close and all of this, you know. But, I think, this year, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like, it's like a good year or a bad year, but it seems like it's a mixed bag of things, because, I think one of the good points there was Raul, but I think one of the bad points was also Raul there, you know, although, I was able to spend some time with him for quite a while during the first couple of months of this year, you know. But then it was like around May was when everything kind of changed then, you know, when I think he got upset with me for like something really minor, which was I thought, which I probably had lost something. I think I thought he knew, he might have knew where it was, but then, you know, then what happened, I think... I just pretty much ignored him, for, ignored it, or just let it sit for a while, you know, you know, left him alone, but, you know, hasn't really answered my texts or, or anything of that sort, but then I decided like, to forget about him after that, you know, and that was about two months ago, you know, but I don't really expect him to come back and all that, and it's like, usually... When this sort of thing happens, it's like, usually, usually when you don't expect them to come back, they come back. And it's like, when you expect them to come back, they don't come back. Which is really strange, as far as like the whole reverse psychology of things, you know, when it comes to like, breaking up with people and all of that. That if you act completely indifferent to them and all this sort of stuff, it... The, the, oh, oh God, it, it's darkened up again. Sorry about that. It's like, it, it, it does that sort of, from time to time, you know. So, um, as I was saying, that, that, um, yeah, nah, yeah, as I was saying, that, that is just one of those weird reverse psychologies of breaking up and all that, but, I don't know, really, as far as, with him there, if I really want to go back to Raul, you know, but, you know, I think I was probably, I've been overanalyzing a little bit on the relationship there, you know, on some aspects, but, you know, but, I think my biggest, my biggest, uh, mistake and that kind of thing there was, was, is just, counting, chickens before they hatch that sort of thing and I guess as far as like with Ricky there I think that was what it was that happened like at least two years ago that I probably just counted the chickens before they hatch you know and all this sort of stuff but I think that's really what had happened with, with all this sort of drama like there you know that Counting the chickens before they hatch, you know, instead of just simply just wait and see where the things go. Yeah, but who knows? Who knows there? But it's a uh, for me. It's like I don't know what if I can be a bit like cautiously optimistic or cautiously pessimistic or something like that, you know? Because a lot of times I could be very horribly 
pessimist about certain things to the point where even Debbie Downer would think that's kind of too pessimistic or would say to me like oh chill out you know that kind of stuff there you know but in a way I think as far as this year goes I think it was kind of pretty nice and uneventful you know but I think that's just what it is with the year but I wonder how next year's gonna be whether we're gonna have um, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump as president or something like that who knows really Guess we'll have to wait and find out about all of that, you know. So here's a little sigh. <laughs> so, anyways, you know, you couldn't really see him that well, but he was like right there. So, anyways, guess that's probably it until next time.